All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all the praises, all the glory, all the honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us his truth, and blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide, who are predestined to be saved. This is Brother Yakal coming with a, uh, another lesson, and Lord willing, you brothers and few sisters in this truth will be edified. And uh, today's lesson is. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put up a couple of videos on um, like an in-house thing that we did for our camp. You know, um, we went through Daniel chapter three, and um, it's it's a hell of a chapter because it mirrors what we're gonna have to go through in these last days if we are Lord willing a part of that elect. You know. People are gonna get tortured and killed, you know, for this ministry. We, we, you know, like Yahusha said, we we have to follow after him. We have to bear um, our own cross, uh, you know. And we're doing it now, but um, there's gonna be a time, especially when you know things like the MOTB is instituted, where we're gonna have to uh, make a choice, and if. The Lord, the Spirit of Yahweh is with us. We're gonna make, you know, the right choice, and that the the right choice is, all right, kill me, torture me, etc. You know, um, I I fear, you know, Yahweh, God of Israel, more than I fear what is gonna to happen to me. Um, so look out for that. You know, I think I'll do that tomorrow. Um, and I'll try and do it in two parts, so it's a bit shorter. Because it's a hell of a chapter. Um, but today's lesson we're going to talk about. Basically go back into time. Um, because it's still prevalent in our nation at the moment. And it's and it's, it's prevalent in all 12 tribes. Alright. It's, it's prevalent in all 12 tribes. The examples that I'm going to give in this lesson. Is mainly the southern kingdom. Benjamin, Levi and Judah. On the skin colour issue. Um, and not just the skin colour issue, the slave mentality issue, because the slave mentality issue is, is, is huge. And the reason why we have this slave mentality, well, we don't, because we've been transformed by the renewers of our minds, the ones that are in this truth. But the reason why people have that is because the ways of the wicked seduce them. You know, let's start with that, man. You know, that's that's a you know that's a good uh scripture to start off with, you know, because we are the righteous and we are more excellent than any other nation on the planet earth. And if we had obeyed our God, we wouldn't be in this mess, you know. First Proverbs twelve and twenty six. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. And when it says his neighbor, I'm talking about all these heathens, man. Not just the so-called white man, all right, who is an Edomite. The Chinese man who's a Moabite. The Japanese man who is an Ammonite. Uh, uh, and the Elamites, you know. Uh, Pakistanis, Indians, uh, Bengalis, Sri Lankans, you know. Um, you Persians, you Iranians. You know, oh, oh, you Arabs, you Ishmaelites, we're better than you, man. The only reason why, <laughs> you know, we can say that boldly. See, a nigger that's not in his truth, and a nigger that is not in his truth is a nigger, man, all right, or a nigger woman. They have like an inferiority complex around these heathens, especially the so called white man. But <clears throat> when the Lord brings in his truth, you have a ruling class mentality because we know our history, and our history was so special. That this white man and other and other races, but partic particularly the so-called white man, has stolen it. You know? That's why they they they're getting all bent out of shape of, of this Gladiator 2 uh trailer that is on uh YouTube because Denzel Washington is in there. Don't you know that um uh, uh the Roman Empire uh, it, you know when it was uh after Domitian, after that it was all Israelite Roman emperors that were who were the emperors, okay, Israelites were heavily up in the Roman Empire 
in in the uh, Senate, man. All right, in the console, in the armies. Okay, go and look up Septimius Severius, the five good Roman emperors, Saint George. All right, of Cappadocia. I've done videos on that. They were all Israelite men, so-called dark-skinned men. And back then, there was no inferiority complex when it comes to uh, our skin color. So that shows you that this captivity has destroyed our people. Okay? So the righteous, Proverbs 12 and 26, The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. So the way of the wicked, what 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 is the wicked promoting on TV? The wicked is promoting on TV is that if you want to be um, rich, be like me, all right? Uh, if you want to be attractive, look like me, dress like me, walk like me, talk like me, you know? And that's what our people are doing with dire consequences, man. All right? And I'm going to show you some of those dire consequences, um, you know, in this uh, video. I'm going to show you clips, man. Okay? And um, one of the leaders um, in uh, West Africa... Um, oh, what was his name? Ibrahim Traore of Burkina Faso. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna listen to a speech that he said recently, and his speech was on the house slaves. <laughs> All right, now Burkina Faso, if people don't know, is in that slave coast, man. All right, of uh, uh, all right. It's there in West Africa, and this is their um, uh, president now, uh, Ibrahim Traore, and they're trying to say that he's a dictator because they did a coup, and the, basically they kicked the French out of there, man. All right, and he did a he did a fantastic speech, and I'm gonna play it later on in this video, so stay tuned on house niggers, man. All right, and house niggers are in the scriptures, and all you house niggers are gonna die very soon, man. All right. Doesn't matter how much money that your slave master gives you. All right. And they keep saying that this Burkina Faso oh, is the poorest country. You know this, that, and the other. Well, well, why does the so-called white man? Why is he uh, 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 setting up terrorist squads there? All right, because he wants the mineral resources. All right. And back in the day, they had another leader that they put to death, Thomas Sankara, and this man. Yeah, this is him, Thomas Sankara. You know, he was an excellent leader, man. He paid off debt from the IMF bank. Um, you know, he said to the government employees, um, drive modest cars, you know, even use bikes. He um, elevated women in, in, into positions of power, which we don't agree with because the scriptures don't agree with that. But he basically did a lot of things. He, you know, literacy, education, and he was a modest man. He wasn't no academic or anything like that. See, all this madness of getting academics and, oh, I have to have a degree and stuff like that. But what happened? His revolution was quashed because of house niggers, man. All right? Someone very close to him set him up and killed him. But this man was a, fan, you know, was a fantastic leader. That's why you can go on YouTube and, and, and uh, learn about him. All right? And, and our people who are in America, this is your history, okay? All right? These are your people. This is your history. Same with our people that are in West Africa. All right? D these are your people. Um, um, same with our people that are in America. These are your people and this is your history. All right? Now you are in this truth. This business of, uh, oh, uh, um, oh, Africans are boo-boos and, um, uh, um, oh, um, uh, the blacks in America, you are slaves and all this stuff, is is madness. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you one um, example of this self hatred. And this clip that I'm I'm going to show you is one of the most sickening things that I've ever seen. And I'm being honest with you. Before I was in his truth, all right. One of my best friends was Nigerian. Me and him were a bit like. Well, we were a lot like that, man. All right. We would go out with girls who were from the West Indies, but we would look down on people who are West Indian. You know, I'm from my par my parents are from Sierra Leone. His parents was from uh, Nigeria. Okay, now how can and that shows you how bugged out we was, because how can uh, a Nigerian 
looked down or a Serionian looked down on a West Indian. If you go to any West Indian country, their electricity supply is constant 24 hours a day. All right. Unlike you niggas over there in West Africa, man. Blackouts every morning. You'll be, you'll be, you, you know, you'll be doing work and, you know, trying to get your paper done for your work in, on your laptop. And then in Nigeria, blackout, boom. You know, rolling blackouts, man. You know, they have to supply, they have to buy generators and all kinds of, you know, primitive madness. But, but then, then these, these, these slaves, all right, these, these, these Israelites that have got this slave mentality will go and migrate from West Africa to uh, America or the UK. And then they will start looking down on uh, their own people who are African American or West Indian. It don't make sense. If if you're better than your brothers and sisters, why don't you stay your ass in your own country? You see? So that shows you that all of that is bullshit. And you know what it comes down to? It's a house nigger mentality. It's exactly what the white man wants. Alright? And I'm glad, I'm glad that um, the Lord brought me in this truth. Because if I had that mentality, you know, please, God, just kill me, man. Alright? Now, this footage you're about to see is a is again a slave and i and i i she was calling an african-american guy a slave and i don't know the whole video apparently the you know the guy told her to go back to africa and all this stuff blah 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 well even if he did or he didn't but this woman that's from west africa definitely an israelite because her surname is diallo and diallo and, and and diallo is definitely a a senegalese or ivorian name all right uh, one of those two countries, man. All right. If you put Diallo, let, if you put Diallo, Diallo name. If you put Diallo name, all right, and uh, 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 Diallo, what nationality is the name Diallo? All right. Yeah, see, it's French. It's a Fulani name, and the Fulani's are men. <laughs> so it's a Fulani name. Yeah, here you go. The uh, Diallo, all right, is a French pronunciation of a Fulani surname of Fuller origin. You know? Oh my gosh. So, uh, and most of the Fulani are Israelites, man. All right. And where, and where are the Fulani? They're in uh, Ivory Coast, Nigeria. No, no, they're, they're, they're in um, Sierra Leone. You know, you got some in Liberia. You got some. You know, so this bitch is uh, definitely an Israelite woman, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you. You know, this clip is disgusting. She's she's a doctor in America, all right. And this channel, by the way, this woman's Sarah Bell, she's she's heavily against black men. You know, I've 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 actually even been on years ago. Uh, she had a live podcast or whatever. I thought, let me try see what they're doing, and it's just black women that hate hate black men on her channels and so forth. All right, but people's tax money. But look, so um, the first towards him, but then so she look, said, "You, you people." See, look, see, look, Hadama, Nuhu, Diallo, you know, and from that picture. She looked like she's been doing some skin bleaching herself, man. Okay. So she's talking about all black Americans. Yeah, look at her tap down the shoes. See, all of you guys, see? All of you guys, you are a bitch. So she's basically generalizing, you know? And we have to understand about this mentality. It's in the scriptures, man. It doesn't, it doesn't marvel. I, I, it's a demon, basically. It's, it's a demonic, self-hating spirit, man. And the white man cultivated that demonic, evil spirit in slavery. He cultivated it, man. All right? <laughs> he did, he cultivated it. 
with, with the so-called house negro and the, the field negro all right he cultivated that man that was his plan and his plan has is is working all right it's working with a lot of our people okay and hey that's the reason why this truth is uh what's the word it's everything all right it's a it's it's a slave master repellent i repeat this truth all right all right being in your how about shimyo shai is a slave master slave mentality repellent all right because if you look in jeremiah all right all right if you look in jeremiah chapter 2 okay and here the title is judas apostasy now let's look up the word apostasy so you can get uh uh a bit more edification apostasy is the abandonment all right the abandonment or reunification of a religious or political belief or principle okay so it's an abandonment of of who you are it's an abandonment of yahweh his son yahweh shai his law statute commandments everything rolled into one all right so if you are a slave and you have a slave mentality you don't like being dark skin or even if you are Israelite and you don't like being light skinned as well. Because we do have that as well. I've been out when I was in the world. I went out with plenty of girls. Or tried to go out with plenty of girls. And it didn't really last that long. Who were light skinned. And many of them didn't like themselves. Okay. That's a news flash for a lot of our women who are dark skinned or brown skinned. They didn't like. A lot of them don't like themselves man. And you know why? It's because the wicked shit that you niggas are saying to them. That's why. We don't care about that, man. All right? In this truth. Uh, in the Bible, it talks about the tribe of Ephraim, Puerto Ricans. It says, Ephraim is a cake not turned. All right? What does that scripture mean? When you have like a cake, a pancake, right? One side, you fry one side, it's nice and dark and brown. But the other side is all light and gooey. That means that the tribe of Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, some of them are going to be dark skinned, some of them are going to be light skinned. That's a future prophecy. And that's that's for the tribe of Ephraim, man. All right. So all, all 12 tribes are like that, man. Okay. So however the Lord designed you, the Lord didn't make no mistakes. Okay. So you should uh, uh, learn to love yourself. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 14. All right, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? <laughs> homeborn slave, homeborn slave. Why is he spoiled? And what does spoil mean? Spoil means to take away something from someone. All right, what have we been? Uh, what has been taken away from us? Our uh, history, language, culture, everything. So that's the reason why uh, we we have this. Uh, um slave mentality in our um in in our nation man okay is israel a servant all right a servant and what does a servant mean all right let's strong it. page 5650 ebad evid 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 in hebrew which means a slave a servant all right a slave, servant, man's servant. You're a subject. A subject to who? The so-called white man. You're God, man. Servants. Worshippers. <laughs> so you're basically a slave. All right? You're, you're a slave and you're a servant. And you're a servant to who? Your master, the so-called white man. That's what you are, man. Okay? And if you have that mentality, that means you are... Uh, uh, an apostate you are an, an israelite only in name only man all right if you start talking about dark skin versus light skin all that stuff all that's apostasy man okay all right the lord is not with that man hey uh, uh the, the most high himself the Asian of days all right the most high he's dark very dark yahweh is very very dark i'm dark skin very dark skin all right and then we have some problems that are very nice getting in our camp we don't make mention of it 
We don't stop saying light skin versus dark skin, splitting up the camp. You niggas are out of your mind, man. But as I said, as before, I, I, the Lord brought me in this truth. You know, I was out of my mind. And this woman here, she would not be saying this, all right, if this was a white man. That's the sad thing about it, you know. All right, so that's a, 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 a good example. But now, I'm going to show you. And this woman here has bleached her skin. I mean, look at this woman, man. She used, and she's even showing the product, I think. How I lighten my skin tone fast. Look at her. And people are, and she's getting off on it, man. She's getting off on it. All right. But Esau has agents. And these agents are here to divide us. All right. Now, Nick Cannon has done uh, something. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show it here. Because it doesn't matter if Nick Cannon wears a Mitri. Yes, Nick Cannon knows that we're the real Israelites and stuff. But he's not really in his truth. He sold his soul a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? All right. And guess what he's doing, man? He's basically promoting a, uh, what's it called? Uh, some event. Oh, light skin versus dark skin. Yeah, a right. light skin, dark skin oh, event. No. Not on social media. Dusty Nick Cannon and Zeus Network, they're decided, they decide to throw a light skin um, versus dark skin party. So let me share my tab. Wow. And they are currently getting drug all over social media here. So, oh, I need my baby. I still can't believe he's 18 now. All right. So this was a flyer. And it says, uh, bad versus wild, dark skin versus light skin. And you see all the chicks here. And some of the light skin girls, they made them look even lighter. I think that Stunner Girl, and Stunner Girl is light skin, but she's not that pale. Um, then you have all the dark skin chicks over here. And Sukiana yeah. is performing. She's the same girl who's always crying about colorism, but engaging. And, and, and if you notice, this Sukiana, if you look at the dark skin side, they're not really even that dark. You know, they're not dark, they're brown, man. You see, that so, but I'm just showing you these things because behind all of this, all of this stuff, now Nick Cannon is doing this, but behind him is, is the master. So the master's telling him to do these things. And he's not telling, he's not, he's not telling him to do these things to uplift our people. It's to do what? It's to do one thing, it's to destroy them. Okay, to make them what? Home-born slaves. All right, home-born slaves. That is the uh, what's the word? Uh, that's the um, that's the uh, goal of all of this madness. Putting other women, you know, um, who are light-skinned black women in in roles rather than dark-skinned ones. This, that, and the other. You know, there's not many of them around. I mean, Viola Davis, she's one. Other than that, not many. All right. But that doesn't mean that because of that, you start hating people who are light-skinned. That's, that's all bullshit, man. All right. That's why your mind needs to be renewed, man. All right. This is First John 5 and 19. And we know that we are of God. So if you... if uh, All right. The ones of us in this truth, we're of God, man. All right, the ones of us that don't look at this whole light skin, dark skin thing, you know, we try and treat each other equally, uh, you know, no matter how they how they look and stuff. All right, and listen, we're all in the press. Brothers might go off, sisters might go go off, but you know, you make a sincere repentance to the heavenly Father, and you go again, and you learn from your mistake. All right, that's how we know that we are of God, and the whole world lies in wickedness. And a light skin versus dark skin event, all right, is nothing but wickedness, man. All right? And we know that Job 9.24, what? The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Who's the wicked? So-called white man. If the so-called white man was uh, a just ruler, he wouldn't be allowing wickedness like this to go on. All right? This is on Zeus Network. Who do you think runs that network? Who, is, who, who were the Greeks that were into all this Greek mythology? Yeah, Jake's was up in there, all right, but it was a mainly a cracker, 
It was mainly a cracker society, you know? All right. So, this, so we know, so so we know that the whole world is lying in wickedness, man. All right. Okay, and that wickedness wants to destroy your mind. So don't, so don't watch that. The Lord didn't make mistakes, designing us. Okay. However, He designed you. Design like my dad. He's, I'm dark skinned but my dad was like a shade darker than me, and my dad was a. Uh, uh, he was a ladies man, man. I'm I'm nothing like him. Absolutely nothing. He was a doctor. I'm absolutely nothing like him. You know, he had kids everywhere. We've got brothers and sisters that we ain't even met. You know? I'm just being honest with you you uh you know, brothers and sisters out there, you know. He was never faithful to anyone. Alright? He was a dark skinned man and he got women everywhere, man. You know? Uh, so it's it's it, you know, and I'm not saying that uh, you're not. So I'm saying that to not to glorify his wickedness. All right, I'm saying that that he never had that mentality of, oh, you know, people are better than me. He had a a, a ruling class mentality, and a part of that ruling class mentality is to know your history, because he knew his history very well. Okay, so the whole world is lying in wickedness because of this devil, man. Okay, so he's going to always promote things that primarily destroy who? Destroy the 12 tribes of Israel because he knows that we're going to rule next. You know, he wants to get as many of our people out of the way, man. Okay, that's what he wants to do. Now, there's a video here. All right, with this actor, Bill Duke. Let's watch this. And it's a, it's just a very interesting, I think it's, it's an interview. In I'm, houses, I'm glad. servants, cooks, maids, etc. Right. Um, a lot of the racism in our community is based upon the house Negroes versus the field Negroes. <laughs> and the house Negroes were the ones yeah. who Masa had sex with a slave and she'd have a baby. And because they were mixed, black and white, they have the privilege of working in the house as servants, cooks, maids, etc. That's right. But if you were dark, you worked in the field from sun up to sun down. And that was a division. And the field Negroes were not fond of the house Negroes because they had privileges. And the house Negroes yeah. were not fond of the field Negroes because they were privileged. Uh, until this day, Go online under hashtag team light skin, hashtag team dark skin. You'll see light skin black women and dark skin black women working over beauty issues. Crazy. Uh, and each of them has over 300,000 members. The irony is I have, I have white female friends who go to tanning salons once or twice a week, become darker, crinkle up their hair, get Botox lips and butt lips to look more ethnic. Yeah. Everybody wants to be black except us. It, it's interesting because I interviewed uh, a rapper from Florida. Uh, his name is Glock9. And he's, uh, I believe he's Haitian. And he's very, very dark skinned. They're, they're darker, darker than you actually, I believe. And, well, and by the way, this guy is a complete nigger, man. You know, but listen to what this nigga says, this Clock Nine guy. I saw him in a Louis Theroux documentary. Um, I think he he was from Florida, I think it is. And he's a drill rapper. He's been in that prison. And everyone that was behind him, they were all Amalekites. His, uh, his um, manager, you know, his lawyer, they were all Amalekites, you know. They're, they're parasites, man. They feed off of the talent that our people have. And they bleed them dry. They take most of their money. But listen to what he says, anyway. When I was talking to him, I asked, would he have a baby with someone of his own complexion? And he said, definitely not. I know, if I'm fucking with you, I'm black and fuck, right? I'm black as shit. The black is beautiful, though, man. So I know if, if, if I fuck with a black man, we're going to have a black ass baby. So, I ain't with that. What? Come already black as fuck. So, I can't. <laughs> no. It went viral afterwards and everyone kind of got on him and everything. 
Yeah. And he, he still, and, and you know, and he responded. He said, "Listen, none of you guys know what I went through growing up, so you guys can't tell me what what I, I'm gonna do." You know, fuck y'all. <laughs> well, you know, do you know that I think it's fifty billion? Did you know that skin bleach? I think is a fifty billion dollar business. There you go. Globally. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. He said that he wouldn't go out with uh, uh, have a woman that is his complexion because his baby is going to come out dark like him. And the reason why he said that is because the hell that he catched when he was growing up, you know, because of you niggas, man, and, 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 and your slave uh, mentality, you know. That's, that's the reason why he said that, man. He never said, he, you know, you know, he didn't, he, he said it based upon, um, um, based upon um, the experiences that he's had, okay? But the reason why we're in this mess is because of us historically going off and worshipping other gods and doing all this wickedness. So God applied all these curses onto us. So being, being a house nigger is, is, is a curse, man, all right? It's, it's, it's a part of the curses. Being a home-born slave is part of the curses. So until the kingdom comes, we we have to face these slaves, man. All right? We have to deal with them. But the one thing that we have to do is make sure that we are not... Um, uh, uh, what's the word? That we don't have their mindset whatsoever. That we renew our mindset every day. Okay? And we're in this... Um, uh, uh, position because of our wickedness. This is First Kings fourteen and nine. All right. Okay. And this is basically about the king, and one of the kings. I think it was Jeroboam. Okay. But really, our, a lot of the kings in ancient Israel were wicked, and the people were. Okay. But has but has done evil before all. That were before thee. Alright. And and that's what's happening with this generation of Israelites. They're doing evils. That are worse than all the Israelites before them. This is the worst generation of Israelites. So you're going to have fucked up mentalities of our people. For thou has gone. And made uh, the other gods. And you see again. That's, that's, the, that's the start of the problem. Us worshipping other gods historically. And we know that reincarnation is in the Bible. And molten images. To provoke me to anger. And thou hast cast behind. Me, cast me behind thy back. So because we cast the Lord. Behind our backs. And said we'll do what we want to do. Now the Lord has plagued us. To have uh, fucked up mentalities. You know. Really bad mentalities. And it. It shows you, I'm going to show you this clip, because 